are all righty now through the years there have been many stories about a horse trainer or owner where you were like how did you get here how did you get to this point in your career and alan cutler and dorian Kraft join us live with a look, look at that good morning guys good morning what's going on we're live in the paddock area it's beautiful and it is raining now this is a story that everything about this story is a long shot the trainer antonio sano from venezuela kidnapped not once but twice then you have Gunavera, the horse he was an orphan and when he was sold he was practically given away and it all started at beautiful brandywine farm Gunavera is trying to cut into that gap in second passing the 16th pole recruiting ready Gunavera coming up on the outside oh he's got him Gunavera hip 2336 property of Brandywine Farm Jim and Pam Robinson and Stephen Upchurch chestnut colt by dialed then out of unbridled rage by unbridled when Gunavera sold at Keeneland you'll notice the stands are empty it was so early in the sale that there weren't many buyers Gunavera sold for only sixteen thousand yep, in the back, sixteen thousand. Well, we thought he'd bring at least sixty thousand dollars. This is Brandywine Farm in Paris. Pam and Jim Robinson bought their first farm in North Carolina when she was the director of the graduate program for sports medicine at the University of North Carolina. She was also helping legendary North Carolina coach Dean Smith profile their basketball players. In 1998, they bought Brandywine, then 100 acres, now it's 600 acres. It's a passion, it's a love, it's a lifestyle, it's what we enjoy doing. I mean, we could be living in a nice house in a golf course, playing golf, playing bridge, but that's not what we want to do. And, and we do not want to retire either. I mean, the way I see it, anybody who retires, usually within a year, they're dead. This is barn 41. It's always reserved for derby horses. The fact that Gunavera is here is absolutely amazing. When Gunavera was born, about 10 days later, his mother walked out on the field and boom, died of a heart attack. Around the clock, every hour, Gunavera had to be fed a bottle. And to make it this far, it's a blessing. It's uh, like having a big puppy dog, and it looks forward to you giving it the bottle, and it's meeting you at the door and winning at you and talking to you. And that's one of the problems if you bottle feed a foal for too long, I mean too many weeks or months, you become their friend, so to speak. You're, you're, you're another mother. horse, yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, okay. and they do have to have their own socialization. They can't be a puppy dog when they weigh 1,200 pounds. But it will be Gunavera and Javier Castellano moving clear. If Gunavera is in the same spot Derby Day, Pam knows how she will be. I'm say usually jumping up and down in the living room and my, my old dog is now deceased, but he used to bite me in the back of the legs when I would do that inappropriate behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely lady, Pam, and what she and her husband have done is spectacular. And uh, Gunavera, what a beautiful horse. Look. The average horse in the Derby went for around 275000 this year. Tappert is the most expensive at $1.2 million. Gunavera went for 16000 That is unbelievable. Coming up at about 848, we'll get into the story of trainer Antonio Sano, who he can't believe he's alive. It's emotional, and he got emotional. But for now, let's go to my partner, Dorian, on the backside, and she's got the latest on the odds.